Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got these uh, two concentric uh, circles with the common uh, center O, as you can see in this uh, diagram. And as a result, we get uh, this uh, blue shaded ring. And moreover, this called uh, AB is uh, tangent uh, to this uh, smaller circle at this point uh, P. And furthermore, uh, we got uh, this uh, red uh, semicircle with its uh, center being this point uh, P. And AB is the diameter of this uh, semicircle. And furthermore, uh, the area of this uh, red semicircle has been given to us uh, as uh, 88 uh, square units. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, blue shaded region. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, big uh, circle. Let me label the radius uh, of this big circle as an uppercase uh, R. And now let's focus on this uh, smaller circle. Let me label uh, the radius uh, of this smaller circle as uh, lowercase uh, R. And now let's focus on this uh, red semicircle. We are going to label its uh, radius uh, as uh, lowercase x. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, red semicircle. And we know that the area of this uh, red semicircle has been given to us uh, as uh, 88. And now let's recall the area of a circle formula. Area equal to pi r square, where r is the radius. And in our case, uh, the radius of this semicircle is uh, x. And since we are dealing with this uh, semicircle, so therefore, uh, semicircle area is going to be simply this uh, pi r square becomes uh, pi times uh, x square. And then we are going to divide it by 2. And once again, this x represents the radius of this uh, red semicircle. And we know how this uh, red semicircle area has been given to us as uh, 88. So I am going to replace it uh, over here. So therefore, after the substitution, we are going to have 88 uh, equal to pi times uh, x square divided by 2. And now I am going to isolate x square. So I am going to multiply by 2 divided by pi on the right hand side. And at the same time, I'm going to multiply 2 divided by pi on the left side as well. And here we can see this pi and pi is gone, 2 and 2 is gone. So therefore, uh, our x square value, when we multiply 2 times 88, is going to give us uh, 176 uh, divided by pi. I'm going to label this our equation uh, number 1. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, big uh, circle whose uh, radius is uh, uppercase R. And now let's recall the area of a circle formula once again. Area equal to pi R square, where this uh, uppercase R represents the radius uh, of this uh, big circle. So therefore, our big uh, circle area is going to be pi times uh, uppercase R whole square. And now let's focus on this uh, smaller circle whose radius uh, is lowercase r. And here's the area of a circle formula, area equals to pi r square, where this lowercase r represents the radius of this smaller circle. So therefore, this small circle area is going to be pi times uh, lowercase r whole square. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, blue shaded ring area is going to be equal to the area of this uh, big circle minus uh, the area of the smaller circle. And now we know that uh, this big circle area is uh, pi r square, where r is uppercase. And the area of this uh, smaller circle is pi times lowercase r square. So I'm going to fill in the blanks uh, over here on the right hand side. So this is going to be pi times uppercase uh, r square minus uh, pi times uh, lowercase uh, r square. And now we can see this uh, pi is in common. So therefore I can write this one as uh, pi. I'm going to take it common. So r 
square minus lowercase r square. So therefore our this uh, blue shadow ring area turns out to be this one. Let me label this one as our equation uh, number two. And here's our next step. I am going to connect uh, these two centers O and P as you can see in this uh, next step. And now let's recall the circle uh, theorem according to this theorem the angle between the radius uh, and the tangent line will always be 90 degrees. So no wonder our this angle uh, OPA is going to be 90 degree angle since uh, this uh, OP is the radius and this uh, AB is the tangent line. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this OP is the radius uh, of this uh, smaller circle. So therefore this is going to be lowercase r. And finally I'm going to connect uh, this center O with this uh, point uh, A. As you can see in this uh, next step and as a result we got this uh, right triangle uh, OPA. And now let's make an observation. We can see this uh, AO is the radius of this uh, larger circle. So I'm going to label this one as uppercase R. And here's our next step. Let's focus uh, on this uh, right triangle uh, OPA. And we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle. And here's the Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square. And in our case uh, our hypotenuse is uppercase R. Our two other legs are lowercase r and uh, x. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, x square plus uh, lowercase r square equal to uppercase r square. And now I'm going to move this uh, lowercase r square on the other side. So therefore uh, x square is going to be equal to uppercase r square minus uh, lowercase uh, r square. And now let's make an observation from this equation one. Our x square value is uh, 176 uh, divided by pi. I'm going to substitute it over here. So I'm going to replace x square by 176 uh, divided by pi over here. So therefore I can write 176 uh, divided by pi equal to uppercase uh, r square minus uh, lowercase r square and now I'm going to multiply pi on both sides on this side and I'm going to multiply on this side uh, as well. So therefore we can see that this pi and pi cancels out and so therefore our pi times uppercase r square minus lowercase r square value is going to be this uh, 176. And now let's focus on this uh, equation too. We can see that this uh, pi times uppercase r square minus lowercase r square represents uh, the area of this blue shaded ring. So therefore I am going to replace this one by this uh, blue ring area. So therefore our blue shaded ring area turns out to be equal to 176 uh, square units. So thus the blue shaded ring area turns out to be 176 uh, square units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.